Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad in the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the file output stream class. Now I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com, select begin, and I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the file output stream class. Now all of my I.O. tutorials up until now have been dealing with character streams. In this tutorial I will begin to introduce you to writing byte data to a file. Now the primary purpose of the file output stream class is to write um, basically an output stream to a file. This tutorial will demonstrate the write method which takes a, uh, the single parameter primitive int type there to create a bitmap image from scratch. Now by the end of this tutorial you will, you will have created an 8x8 pixel striped color bitmap image file. Now the file output stream class implements auto closable so we can use the try with resources type exception handling. I will demonstrate the other overloaded versions of the write method in my file input stream tutorial I'll be creating next. Alright let's go ahead and come down here and highlight all this stuff here. <coughs> Control C to copy or right click and select copy. I'm going to move the browser off screen here and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop but if you don't you can create one really fast by right clicking selecting new shortcut CMD next and finish. Alright let's go ahead and open that up uh, type in Java C which is the Java compiler command. If you receive an error message after typing in Java C watch my tutorial on installing the Java development kit I want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly. See, I lost to clear the screen. CD space backslash CD has changed directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. Now I'm going to make a directory here called Java using the MD command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. I'm going to make another directory here called FOS. I'm going to change directories to that folder here. And I'm on notepad fos.java. fos.java is going to be the name of our source code file, also known as a compilation unit. I'm going to go ahead and control V to paste that in or right click and select paste. Let's come up here and save this. So there's a single class in this file and I'm importing the Java IO package. Here's the main method entry point. And the first statement here is just basically creating a new file object that is basically the equivalent of right off the root plus the Java folder plus the subfolder FOS plus test.bmp. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is delete it in case it exists from like a previous run if you run this multiple times. If you delete a file that's not there by invoking the delete method it won't hurt anything. It'll just move on to the next statement. Okay, because file output stream implements uh, auto closable, I'm going to go ahead and use the try with resources syntax there. And I'm going to create this reference variable fos of type file output stream. Set that equal to a new file output stream and as the parameter I'm going to pass in our file here, right, to create our test bitmap. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about bitmaps here. Bitmaps have a header on them that gives them various different bits of information, like for example how large the file is, what type of a bitmap file it is, um, what's the width, what's the height, you know, so on and so forth there. All kinds of stuff goes in this header there. Then each pixel is represented by um, a red, green, and blue value. Um, and the red value can be 0 to 255, the green value can be 0 to 255, and the blue value can be 0 to 255. So each pixel, single little pixel on the screen, is represented by um, the red, green, blue values of 0 to 255. So it takes three bytes to represent a single bit. Now um, that's only in, in a 24-bit um, type bitmap, and you can get way up there, you know, in, in bitmaps and compression and all that. But we're just doing a simple 24-bit, which is a three byte. Three times eight bit is 24-bit, right? Three byte times eight bit. So um, one other thing is uh, the Bitmap files, as far as the computer is concerned, is actually read from even though you know the top down or right to left, like what we or left to right, like we would read, right? It actually reads the bitmap data and puts it starting. So as you're going through the file, it'll start in the lower right hand corner of the bitmap, right? And it'll work its way up to the upper left hand corner. So it'll be just completely backwards, but don't worry about that. You'll you'll see how that is when it actually displays on the screen there. 
So the first thing we're going to do is write um, 66. 66 is the equivalent of ASCII B, right? And then we're going to write in the next byte 77, which is ASCII M. So the first two bytes are going to hold BM, which is the file type, and we're still in the file header here. So now the next byte is going to hold the size, actually the next four bytes are going to hold the size of the file, okay? And that's basically the size of the header, which is 26 bytes, and that basically means that from this is the start of the header right here and this is the end of the header right here we will have written and if you count all the lines there there is a total of 26 lines there right representing 26 bytes so the that's how you calculate the and then you do length times width and we're creating an 8 pixel by 8 pixel which is 64 pixels and we need three bytes for each pixel right so 64 times 3 is 192, and then you need two closing null zeros, okay? Um, altogether, that equals 220 bytes. All right, um, let's go ahead and talk about the next thing here. So these four bytes, size of the file, now that they've got a reserved one and a reserved two that they don't do anything with there, okay? <clears throat> now the next one is a, these next four, are the end of the file header and then there's an image header too in there as well, right? So these are this is a four byte number this byte this byte and this byte represent The byte number for the start of the pixel data, which is 26 Which is basically the size of the whole bitmap header there right all the way down to here 26, right? And we talked about that up there now the next thing, so that's basically like the file header information. So the, the actual bitmap header is split into two different parts, the file header and then the image header. So the image header now starts here. And then you're going to have these four bytes to, um, that'll represent the image header size. So it's gonna be 12 bytes on that, right? You've got four here, here's four more and the last four and that, that finishes out the image header there. So after that, then you've got two bytes representing the image width, two bytes representing the image height, and we've got eight and eight in there, and then number of planes in the image, that'll just set that to one, and then number of bits per pixel, right? So this is a 24-bit bitmap, okay? Which is basically 24 divided by eight, eight, there's eight bits in a, in a byte, right? So basically we have three bytes in a pixel there to equal 24. All right, and then we actually start writing the data, okay? So what I'm gonna loop, do is I'm gonna loop through and I'm gonna create a line of uh, basically a stripe, right? Eight bytes I'm gonna write their data for, right? And now because it's backwards, this is actually red, this is actually green, and this is actually blue. So our, our first line here that we write down starting the lower right-hand corner of our image and working our way up is actually going to be blue, okay? So I have got eight of these four loops, each just basically writing eight, eight little, um, all the pixel data for eight pixels, right? Okay, so that'll loop through there, and you can see on the next one is going to be a green pixel, and the next one's gonna be a red pixel, and then this one will kind of be a gray one, and then I just started doing some random arbitrary numbers for colors on the next lines there. And then here's where we write those last two um, closing nulls. Okay, so that's basically the way this works here in creating a bitmap file. And we've written all this data as byte data. So, and let's go ahead and just make sure we've got this saved and let's run it. So let's clear our screen, Java C, compile it, Java FOS, and run it. Okay, now nothing actually happens there. But if we do a directory now, now we've got our 220 byte test bitmap. Okay, right, which is exactly what uh, what we were expecting there. Let's say, for example, I were to try to do notepad test bitmap, right? Oh, yeah, this is, we've all done this. We've all opened up a file that's, uh, you know, got binary data, and that's what it looks like. Doesn't really make much sense. The only thing you can read is the first two characters being BM. Um, so let's use MS Paint. Uh, MS Paint really is my preferred editor of choice, but it'll be on Windows by default. So we do MS Paint, and then as we can pass it the parameter of the file that we want to open, test.bmp, if I can type today, 
Okay, and that'll pull up standard Windows Paint. Now you see it's right up here in the corner there. So I'm gonna click on my View tab and then zoom in. And whatever editor you're using, you know, you can do your zoom there. Right, okay, so here is our bitmap that we have created now. And you can see the first line is blue, second line is um, green, red, then we got gray, and then we got various different other colors. So the very first byte that it started writing, and I don't know if you can see that, is right down here. And the very last one that it did is right up there. Okay, so that's, that's how it does the bitmap stuff there. So anyway, um, that pretty much is just about it there. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that, close out of this, and close out of that. So that pretty much, that'll pretty much do it. What I'm gonna do is um, in my next, next tutorial for file input stream, we're going to actually read in that bitmap and um, <clears throat> then basically, well, we'll need to copy that. Yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, well, we'll copy that bitmap over. I'll do that in my next tutorial there, and then we'll read that in there. We'll mess around with that bitmap and rewrite it out using, using some of the other write functions there, with specifically with byte arrays, making our life a lot easier rather than writing individual byte by bytes if we're going to do manipulations on that bitmap. So anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.